welcome all of you welcome every single one of you back to the family back to our live stream tonight in jesus name you are all welcome god bless every single one of you thank you lord thank you lord for another day thank you lord for another opportunity to be in your presence lord as we gather praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord if you were here in the morning was it in the morning at about mid-afternoon if you were here just put an amen in the live chat <laughs> that was a spontaneous life that we had at about 1 p.m wat today praise the lord god was so good god is so good hallelujah praise the lord go ahead and share this live stream on your uh, social media facebook whatsapp wherever you can because somebody might need this word of healing tonight hallelujah praise the lord and, and even though tonight's word is on healing we all know how the spirit of god moves but we actually do not know how the spirit of god moves because the lord can release a word on any other area that he needs to touch on a word for somebody hallelujah praise the lord i see some of you were here on the afternoon live stream the morning live stream Praise God. God bless every single one of you. Thank you, Jesus. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. There is an instant opening. That's the word that came to my spirit today when I, I had to prepare for the live stream today. Uh, there is an instant opening and a quick release coming upon you, appearing. Hallelujah. Appearing. Amen. Of healing appearing in Jesus mighty name before we get right into the word we are going to pray and just welcome the Holy Spirit once again to come and have his way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and just plead the blood of the Lamb of ourselves and over the network hallelujah praise God amen thank you Jesus thank you Lord our father we worship you we worship you we worship you Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this hour, for this time, O oh Lord, as we gather. We just ask, O oh Lord, that you will come and just breathe over us and breathe over this word, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let this word, O oh Lord, be a blessing unto somebody, O oh Lord, as they hear, Heavenly Father, O oh Lord. May this word, O oh God, stir up their faith, Heavenly Father, stir up their hope and become flesh in someone's life. Let healing manifest, appear quickly, as your word says in Isaiah 58, verse 8, Heavenly Father said and your healing will appear quickly in the name of jesus christ of nazareth in an instant heavenly father oh lord let there be an opening oh lord of healing oh lord in their body their mind their spirit their soul and let there be a quick release oh lord of your people from where they have been oh lord that has not been beneficial to a place oh god where they can glorify your holy name in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth and let me go for the church say amen hallelujah praise the lord thank you lord jesus you all let us worship let us just worship to draw in the presence of god let's worship the lord praise god glory be to god in the highest amen glory be to god in the highest amen for his mercies and your red forever amen for his mercies and your red forever amen Glory be to God in the highest, amen. Glory be to God in the highest, amen. For his mercies endure it forever, amen, amen, amen. For his mercies and your red forever. Amen, amen, amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power and might. To our God forever and ever. Amen. 
all the power and all the might and all the glory and all the honor and the blessings be unto your name Abba Father forever and ever and ever Lord we love you we adore you we bless your name we are thankful and we are grateful for such a time like this Heavenly Father you want to say with two or three are gathered O Lord in your name that you are right there in the midst Adonai O Lord as we gather in the name of Jesus Christ we ask, O oh Lord, that you will manifest yourself to each and every person, O oh Lord, on this life and the ones yet to watch this life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands and just worship the Lord and just say, Lord, thank you. Lord, I'm expecting tonight to receive tonight. I wait upon you tonight, oh Lord, as your word comes to me, Father God, may it turn something in my life. May it shift something in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I will not remain the same as the word of God comes to me today. I will be changed. I will be transformed. I will be renewed. I will be healed. I will be opened up, my in the name of Jesus Christ, I will be restored. Hallelujah. Praise God. There is an instant opening. Somebody say instant opening. Instant opening and a quick release of healing appearing. Now you may be on this live stream and say to yourself, oh, I think I clicked on the wrong live stream because I'm not sick in my body. Let me tell you something. Many people that, 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 that actually don't feel sick or feel afflicted in their body actually have one or two things inside of their mind or their soul brokenness one thing or the other uh, you know a mental touch that the enemy has brought upon you so it might not just be like physical sickness on your flesh it could be any other thing that's wrong with your blood that you cannot even see and the Lord is ready to release healing quickly now today is our third day of our fasting if you've been fasting God bless you in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. Today is the third day and the last day of our fasting for this week. Next week again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we, we, uh, we continue to the glory of God. Hallelujah. And please uh, always remember, if you are on medication, speak to your doctor first. If you are pregnant and cannot go all the way to 2 p.m., you can try to go all the way to 12 if you can. It's from 7 a.m. Hallelujah. You wake up in the morning, worship the Lord, praise the Lord, and get into the word, get a message, listen to God's word. Every Every day during those fasting and make sure that you are praying as well hallelujah praise the Lord if you miss this this afternoon's live stream please after this live stream go ahead and look for it on the ministry page and watch it it will bless you it will bless you hallelujah praise the Lord amen praise God so God said your healing will quickly appear that's what the Lord said he said your healing will quickly appear or your healing will spring forth Hallelujah. Your healing will spring forth. Your healing will quickly appear. Last night we looked at our light breaking forth. Today is all about our healing. Hallelujah. Today is all about our healing. And the two, light and healing, are interconnected. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you know, you know. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. So we're going to be praying today that by the mercy of God, that our healing will appear quickly. Healing in our mind healing in our souls healing in our spirit healing in our bodies because there's so many of us that have some things on the inside of us that god needs to heal us from that god needs to you know deliver us from hallelujah thank you jesus praise the lord and i have this revelation as i spent time listening to a message today i had this revelation that was actually inspired by first kings 18. hallelujah without the clouds forming there is no pouring down of rain Hallelujah. Without the clouds forming, there is no pouring down of rain. I got this today when I listened to a message and it really resonated with me while I heard this word. Without the clouds forming, there is no pouring down of rain. You see, when we want to receive healing from God, there is a certain position that we need to take. Many of us need to take the, the, uh, the, uh, the opposition of, of fasting, which many of you are already in this week, since last week and then this week. Sometimes we have to take that, that, that uh, position of prayer and pray down your healing. Hallelujah. Sometimes all you need to do is actually take the position and the form of going into the word of God and looking into God's word. That area of your life where you need to see a change, a new beginning. If it's your health, if it's your finance, if it's your career, whatever it is, you look for that for those scriptures and meditate upon them. That's you taking form to actually see your manifestation of your healing and your breakthrough and your turnaround come in in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord, Holy Spirit. We love you, Lord. Somebody say, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. I feel the Lord moving already for somebody in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And can we just acknowledge that Minister Tim is here today again? Praise God. Hallelujah. I honor you, my darling husband, for being active and live on this street. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Isaiah 58 verse 8 um, speaks about our lights amen breaking forth as of yesterday's live stream but then he also says something he says and your healing will quickly appear and your healing will quickly appear many of us want our healing right now many of us have been so you know afflicted in so many ways for the longest time and we are like lord i want you to heal me right now because because sometimes the sickness and the affliction can feel like a burden something that you've been dragging some, some, something that that, that that you've been trying to manage for a long time on your body or, or, or you know inside of your body hallelujah whatsoever it is it can be cancer it can be diabetes it can be a liver issue whatever it is god is able to do it quickly the more we connect our faith in prayer in what study in fasting in everything these things can cause our healing to manifest instantly hallelujah praise the lord thank you lord jesus it says it says and your healing will appear quickly and your healing will appear quickly please feel free to click on the title and look in the bar below so you can follow every scripture amen praise the lord Job 5, 8 and 9 says, but if I were you, I would appeal to God. I would appeal to God. I will lay my cause before him. He performs wonders that cannot be fathomed. What cannot be fathomed? Fathom means wonders that, that you know, your, your mind cannot really take. Your mind cannot really begin to imagine how does God do this thing. Hallelujah. Say, but if I were you, I would appeal to God. I appeal to God. I appeal to God. Bring it before the Lord. Bring it before the Lord, hallelujah, which we're going to do tonight. And pray for God's mercy over our healing, hallelujah. I would lay my cause before him. He performs wonders that cannot be fat on miracles that cannot be counted. Are you all seeing this? This is Job 5, 8, and 9. And we all know the story of Job, of how Job was afflicted. But eventually, when Job made a plea unto the Lord, when Job kept, kept, kept on speaking unto the Lord, what happened? All of a sudden, and at the appointed time, God came through and restored Job's health. God didn't just stop at restoring Job's health, my God. God didn't just stop at restoring his health. No, God came through a hundredfold restoration for Job and gave him seven times what Job had before. Who's taking that right now? God gave Job seven times what he had before. Everything the enemy stole from Job, including his health, God gave it back to Job. I don't know what the enemy has taken from you. I don't know what the enemy has touched in your life, on your body, what he's placed on you, what he's put inside of you, in your spirit, on your mind, the affliction, the, the mental torment. Hallelujah. The Lord is able to restore you. The Lord is able to bring healing quickly. God is bringing healing quickly for somebody tonight. God is bringing healing quickly for somebody tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and by the power of the Holy Spirit. God said in his word that his spirit is what quickens. God's spirit is what quickened the body of Jesus and brought Christ from death back to life only by the spirit of God. And the spirit of God, as we all know, is the power of God. God cannot do anything without his Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Mark 7, 33 to 37 says, And taking him aside from the crowd privately, he put his finger into his ears, and after spitting, touched his tongue, and looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephata, that is, be opened. Christ said to the deaf and the dumb, this man was deaf, he couldn't hear nothing, and he couldn't even speak at the same time. Imagine, imagine he was deaf and he was dumb, but the Lord Jesus Christ did something miraculous and strange here, unusual, hallelujah. Nothing like you would normally see, hallelujah. And he said, Ephrata, Ephrata, he said, be open. Be open. There's about to be an instant opening of somebody's health. In this place tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And then he said, he said, and his ears were open. His tongue was released. His ears were open and his tongue was released. Who did this? Is Jesus. It's the same Jesus that you and I know, child of God. It's the same Jesus Christ that we believe in, child of God, that has done this thing and is able to do it again because now he's even more alive in you and I. 
They saw him. We have never seen him, but we believe. And God's word said, I blessed are those that believe even without seeing child of God. You are blessed already. Understand and believe and expect your healing. Expect for there to be an opening in your health. Expect for there to be a release of your health to spring forth quickly, to appear quickly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And he spoke plainly and Jesus charged them to tell no one but the more he charged them the more zealously they proclaimed they couldn't understand what was going on and they were astonished he says they were astonished beyond measure saying he has done all things well he even makes the deaf hear and the mood speak and he even is able to heal the cancer. He's able to take the kidney issue away. He's able to remove everything, every heart palpitation, the brain tumor, whatsoever it is, the ache and the pains, whatsoever it is that has a name, there is a higher name. And that name is the name of Jesus Christ. Because God's word says it's written that there is no other name that has been given unto man by which we should be saved. That's the book of Acts. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 20, verse 29, 34, it says, And as they went out of Jericho, a great crowd followed him. And behold, there were two blind men sitting by the roadside. And when they heard that Jesus was passing by, they cried out. They cried out, Lord, have, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy upon us, son of David have mercy upon us they cried out unto jesus they cried out unto the lord the crowd rebuked them telling them to be silent but they cried out all the more lord have mercy on us son of david they were expectant expectation is a necessity when you want to see a manifestation of your healing no expectation of healing no manifestation of healing expectation is a necessity when you want to see your healing manifest no expectation of your healing no manifestation of your healing child of God if you have been sick for so long and you call yourself a Christian and you call yourself a believer and you're one of those people that, that just say to yourself well I'm sick I've been ill this way this is what's wrong with me my sickness my pain my this I know God's gonna come through some way and you live it there let me tell you you're gonna be there for a very very long time but when you are expectant you prove your expectation by taking part in what you need to that will bring about your healing like i said already the fasting the prayers looking into god's word what god says about your health and you start taking it by force that's you showing your expectation and then you begin to make faith confessions declarations over your health i shall not die but i shall live i refuse to be sick i rebuke the sickness I do this even to myself, my children as well. We do this, family. It is so important for us to engage ourselves in these things. If we want to see the manifestation of any other blessing, not only just your healing, but every other area of your life where the enemy has come in to bring affliction, to bring suffering and pain, you must show your expectation of God's promise of your healing. Show that you believe. Show that you have faith in God. Be expectant of what God wants to do in your life. Expect it and you will see it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. And, says, and stopping, Jesus called them and said, What do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you? They said to him, Lord, let our eyes be opened. Let our eyes be opened. Let our eyes be opened. There's a desire in. There's an expectation of healing in this place. There, they were expectant to be, to, be, to be healed. And God has promised us healing. Healing is the children's bread, as scripture said. Healing is the children's bread, as scripture said. They were expecting, Lord, let our eyes be open. Have you voiced out unto God what it is that you want? Or you've just said, well, God knows I'm sick. And, you know, I believe. Or, you know, maybe someday I'll be healed. No. Lord, let our eyes be opened. Lord, let this cancer be cut away from my body. Lord, let this kidney issue die in the name of Christ, Jesus Christ. Lord, let this migraine leave me alone. Lord, let this headache go off my body. Lord, let this pain leave me alone. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, lift off this burden of my life. Lord, destroy this yoke of my life. I've anointed myself over and over again. And your word says the anointing destroys the yoke and removes everybody. Lord, let this yoke be removed. This yoke of sickness, let it be removed. 
broken once and for all, oh God. Lord, let my eyes be open again. Lord, let this brain tumor shrink to the smallest ever and disappear by your word, by your spirit, oh God. Lord, let it be open. Lord, let my healing be open. Lord, let my life be open. Lord, 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 have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Because he calls himself the God of mercy, the God of compassion. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. And Jesus, in pity, touched their eyes. And what did he say? He said, and immediately they recovered their sight and followed him. And immediately they recovered their sight and followed him. Number one, they were expectant. They cried out for mercy. They cried out for mercy and they were expectant. Two things here. They cried out for mercy. Son of David, have mercy. Have we cried out for mercy? Have we spent time to call upon the Lord for mercy? Or we just want to remain in that place of a little bit of faith and, and you know, no hard work, nothing, no perseverance, no pushing forth in prayer, nothing whatsoever. I mentioned something yesterday. I said, the enemy is contending. Was it last night or this morning? The enemy is contending for what God has already given unto you. You see, our blessings in Christ, including healing and everything else, they are first spiritual. They are first spiritual. And we have to cry out unto the Lord. We have to call upon the Lord for, this, for, for these things to manifest. Because the enemy is contending for them. Because Satan is contending for your blessings. We have to be in connection unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Because there's a great contention. The, the enemy is contending so greatly for all that God has promised you. But you cannot see that's why we always say midnight prayers are so important because it's once it's 12 midnight they gather against you and plot against what you know what they want to bring upon you next or your family midnight prayers are so important to break those curses to pray against those sicknesses whatever the enemy wants to plan to bring you with the temptation hallelujah praise the lord and the lord jesus showed mercy on them because they were expectant and he healed them. He healed them. Acts 3 16 says, By faith in the name of Jesus, this man whom you see and know was made strong. It is Jesus' name and the faith that comes through him that has completely healed him, as you all can see. It is faith in Jesus' name. Faith in Jesus' name. Your expectation in what God concerning what God can do in your life. Faith in Jesus' name. Your faith in Jesus' name. Your expectation. Your expectation of the promises of God. Your expectations of Jesus and the person of Jesus that you know and what he can do in your life. Hallelujah. Matthew 9, 27 to 30 says, And as Jesus passed on from there, Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. And as Jesus passed on from there, two blind men followed him, crying out, Have mercy upon us, son of David. When he entered the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I'm able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it done to you. According to your faith, be it done to you. According to your expectation, be it done to you. And their eyes again, it says, were opened. And Jesus steadily warned them, see that no one knows about it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because when they get to begin to know about all of these things, they begin to, you know, start looking for him, rushing, rushing, rushing to him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. An opening. An instant opening. An instant opening. God wants to bring about an instant opening of whatsoever part of your life has been closed up by the enemy. Where the enemy has already said he has closed up this, this, this part of your life in sickness, in oppression, depression, whatsoever it is, God wants to bring about an instant opening again, an instant opening of your health. Hallelujah. Matthew 9, 33 says, And when the demon had been cast out, the mute man spoke. And the crowds marveled, saying, Never was anything like this seen in Israel.
Israel. Never was anything like this seen in Israel. Jesus went to him and cast out the demon out of him. The demon was cast out of him. And the mute man spoke again. The dumb man spoke again. I don't know what demon has been tormenting you. I don't know what demon has been afflicting you. Any demon of nightmares, demon of dreams, of, 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 of um, death, demon of lust, whatsoever demon it is, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I command every such demon to lose its hold of you, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. When the demon had been cast out, the mute man spoke again. So there's a demon that can cause you to be dumb, a demon that can come and take away your sight and put sickness inside of your body. But God is able. But God is able. He has given us the blood. He has given us his spirit. And we are overcoming those such demons in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray for somebody here today that has faith to believe, that is expectant of healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And by the power of the Holy Spirit that is in this place, that every demon tormenting you mentally and physically, in your body and in your health and in your mind, that we command those such, such demons to lose their hold of you. We expel them right now. We command them to leave in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every demon of migraine, every demon of headaches, every demon of sickness in your body, whatsoever it is, every demon that is bringing tormenting thoughts of death to your mind and to your dreams. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, you are free in Jesus. Jesus mighty name. Receive your healing because God has ordained healing for you, child of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Luke 8, 43 to 44 and 48 says this, and a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. We all know about this story of the woman that, that had this issue of blood. She was bleeding continuously, endlessly, consistently for 12 years. 12 good years, but no one could heal, heal her. She came up behind him, she came up behind Jesus and touched the edge of his cloak, of his garment. And immediately, he says, her bleeding stopped. And immediately, her bleeding stopped. Whatsoever has been a plague, a plague or siege in your life that has been going on years after year after year after years, month after month after month, week after week after week. We speak right now with the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that that plague and that siege it ceases right now. I release you right now, child of God, because the Lord has said in, the, in, in His Word in Isaiah that He has anointed me to bring about liberation unto your child of God to set every captive free. I'm standing here right now and release the grace of God upon you, upon your life to set you free in Jesus' mighty name. I decree and declare your release is now you. Your opening of your health is now you. Your release is now by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There is an instant healing, an instant opening of your your health, an instant opening of your health in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, an instant opening of your spirit to receive the healing, the blessing of healing. I hear my spirit right now, new organs in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord Holy Spirit, because somebody is receiving a new organ. I don't know who you are, but if you have faith to believe and you are expectant that God can do something mighty in your life, that that, 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 that he is a healer and he can come true in your life. Child of God, you better believe it right now because God is moving in your life because there is an instant opening of your health in Jesus' mighty name. There is a quick release taking place for somebody in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Suddenly and swiftly, the new it is done instantly. Hallelujah. She was released from this plague, from this siege of constant bleeding. She was released after 12 years. She was finally released, my God. Release, release, release. 
Release, 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 release. There is a release. There is a quick release. There is a quick release and a quick appearing of your healing. Somebody here in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No other name. No other name. No other name. In that name, there is a quick release, child of God. There is a quick release. There is a quick release. There is an instant appearing. There is an instant appearing and a quick release of healing, of breakthrough, of signs, of wonders, of miracles, of the mercy of God, of the grace of God, of the goodness of God in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. An instant opening and a quick release. As many received back in the Bible days. That's what the Lord wants to give to many of us today in this end times, in this last days. As you're watching me right now, God is already moving. God is already healing. God is already touching. God is touching you where you are, child of God. All it takes is your faith. All it takes is your faith. All it takes is your faith. All it takes is your expectation. What do you expect? What do you believe? What are you expectant of? Do you believe that I can do this? Jesus asked. He asked them, do you believe that I can open your eyes? Do you believe that I can take away the cancer from you? Do you believe that I can take away that kidney issue, the liver issue and make it clear again? Do you, do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe that I can take away every trouble that you have? Come on to me, all of you who are weary. All of you who are weak, all of you who are sick, come on to me. Don't go anywhere else. Don't look anywhere else. Look to Jesus. Because he's able. He's the healer. Hallelujah. There is an instant opening and a quick release of healing. There is an instant opening and a quick release of healing. We're going to go deeper into prayer because, because we want to take that uh, position and take that form that, that we need to, to be able to uh, see the manifestation of our healing. Praise the Lord. Because if you remember, I mentioned at the beginning, I said something. I said, sometimes we need to take form. He said, the rain cannot come down. The rain cannot pour down until the clouds have taken form, until the clouds have formed. For those who are just coming in, I mentioned that I said, without the clouds forming, there is no pouring down of rain. Without the clouds forming, there is no pouring down of rain. We're gonna pray, family. We're gonna pray intensely in the spirit and pray with our understanding also. If you cannot pray in the spirit, that is fine. But just call upon the name of Jesus and just keep saying, Jesus, Jesus, Holy Ghost, fire, I receive my healing. Whatsoever the Lord leads you to say. If you don't have the gift of praying in tongues, we're gonna still pray and receive your healing. If you stand in God for a family or a friend, also pray for them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Do not be quiet, family. Open up your mouth right now. Wherever you are, the Lord can come and meet you where you are, in your car, if you're on the street or on your job or you're at home, wherever you are right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, begin to open up your mouth. Let's begin to take form right now because without the clouds taking form, they can't be no pouring down of rain. God wants to pour down your healing. God wants to pour down your blessing. But we must take form right now. And right now, we're taking form on the altar of prayer. As I stand in the gap for you, family, you begin to open up your mouth right now and begin to pray in the spirit and begin to call forth your healing. Call forth your breakthrough. That area of your life where you want to see a change begin to um, speak, speak over that area right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh Lord, Holy Spirit, give us all trans Holy Spirit. My God and my Lord, let there be a rain of your of your healing power. Let 
let it be a reign of your healing power in the lives of your people in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let there be a release of your of your healing power. My Lord and my God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let there be a release of the of the reign of healing, a release of the reign of healing, a release of the reign of healing, oh Lord. Let there be an instant opening, oh Lord, an instant opening, oh Lord, an instant opening of their health in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a rain of healing, a rain of healing, a rain of healing, an instant opening. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, if one person tonight can be healed, Heavenly Father, you take all the glory. We ask, O Lord, have mercy upon your people, have mercy upon your children, have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, God, have mercy upon them, O Lord. The ones who need healing in their spirit and their broken, oh Lord. The ones who need healing in their soul, Heavenly Father, oh Lord. The ones who want healing in their mind. The ones who need healing in their body, in their blood, in their flesh, in their brain, oh God. In their back, oh Lord. In their legs, oh God. In their stomach, oh Lord. In their heart, oh Lord. Let there be healing, a rain of healing, a rain of healing. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let there be a mighty rain, a mighty shaking, a mighty shaking of the heavens. We shake the heavens tonight. We ask for an outpouring of a rain of healing, a healing rain, a healing rain, a healing rain, a rain of the Holy Ghost in our lives. You pray, child of God, open up your mouth. Somebody's getting healed right now. Somebody's getting healed right now with the creed and the clear because the word of God says that thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee with decree and declare there is a rain of healing 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 I have mercy Lord I have mercy Lord we call upon your name Jesus 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 there is healing in the name of Jesus there is healing in the name of Jesus, there is healing in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. We cut away every sickness, we cut away every affliction, we cut away every disease, we cut away every pain, we cut away every ache, we cut away every cancer, we cut away every kidney issue, we cut away diabetes with the word of God, and the word of God is Jesus. The word of God is Jesus, and the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword to cut away the tumor, cut away the ache, cut away that disease, the affliction, the oppression, the ulcer, hepatitis, A, B, C, D, E, whatsoever it is called, we cut you off with the word of God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus, I look at another day, a cup of the day, Sakapaya, I in the other by the power of the Holy Spirit. Every fibroid, we cut you away. Every fibroid, we cut you away. Every fibroid, we cut you away. We cut away. Every fibroid, every migraine, every headache, every migraine, every headache, every fibroid, every migraine, every headache, every deafness. Let your ear be open, eh, fata. Let your ear be open, eh, fata. Every blindness, we command to cease. Let your eyes be open right now. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Every issue with your skin, every skin disease, we say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we command that disease by the power of the Holy Spirit to leave your body and lick because your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Sickness cannot stay, disease cannot stay. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, open up your mouth, child of God, and command every sickness and every disease and every pain and every issue. Command it, say, leave this body. Say, leave this body. Say, my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Sickness cannot stay. Sickness cannot stay. I command every sickness to bow down and bow out. I command every disease to bow down and bow out. Every weakness, every ulcer, every migraine, every sickness, whatever the name is, I command you to bow out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's pray some more, family. Open up your mouth. Stir up your spirit. You are taking form. Your cloud of healing is forming. Your cloud. Your cloud. You are forming the cloud. You are forming the cloud. The rain of healing is coming down. Open up your spirit, child of God. Open up your spirit. The Lord is coming true for you. The Lord is coming true for you because He's a God of His word. He's a faithful God. Call upon the name of Jesus. Call upon the name of Jesus. Put down the live streamer. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Put down the live streamer and call upon the name of Jesus. Say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Have a picture of that thing that's wrong in your body and wrong in your spirit or in your mind and call upon the name of Jesus as loud as you can. Say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. I still believe there is power in the name of Jesus. I still believe there is healing in the name of Jesus. Jesus is alive. There is power in that name. I'm taking over in the name of Jesus. There is an instant opening of my health right now in the name of Jesus. Devil, you may have tried to shut me down, but right now, God is opening my health up. My healing is open right now. My healing appears quickly in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I take my healing up. Open up your mouth, child of God. Declare over yourself. In the name of Jesus, I take my healing. I take my healing. Many of you are going to begin to see signs of your healing from tonight. For many of you, it will take a while, but God will do it. But God will do it this week for somebody. God just needs your expectation. He wants to see your faith that He can come in and reward you with healing. Something is taking place in the spirit. Somebody is free. Somebody is free. Because Christ has set you free. The word of God says, uh, Who the Son of God has set free is free indeed. You were set free on the day that Christ died uh, and was nailed to the cross. Uh, when he was buried uh, and he was raised back up to life, uh, he was set free from sickness. Uh, somebody said, I am free from sickness. Uh, I am free from affliction. Uh, I am free. I'm free. I'm free. I am free, devil. I'm free, devil. Lose me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, lose me, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Release me, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Open up your mouth, child of God. Declare over yourself, I am loose right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am released right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am renewed right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I see my healing because God has promised me strength. God has pro 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 promised me healing in his word. He has promised me divine health. I see myself being healed. I see myself being healed. Open up your mouth. I see myself being healed. I see myself being whole. I am whole. I am healed. I am restored in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cannot be bound again. I cannot be bound again. I cannot be bound again. Every chain of sickness we start break by fire. Every chain of sickness, we start break by fire. Every arrow of sickness, we start break by fire. I 
You will not die. You will not die. I decree over each other, God. You will not die. You will live and declare God's goodness in the land of living. You will see many things. You, your destiny you shall fulfill in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are free, child of God. Oh, thank you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Lift up your hands and begin to thank the Lord for what he has begun to do. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him. Because something has happened already. There will be a change. There's a change taking place already. There's a change taking place already. Don't forget that when God wants to bless you, when God wants to heal you, it starts in your spirit. You take it in your spirit, child of God. That's why we're taking form on the altar of prayer to pull down the rain of healing. To pull down the rain of healing because no rain just comes down without the cloud from Makana Bada Shekinibu. It may look like in where you are, the cloud is clear and rain is coming, but there's somewhere around that you cannot see. A cloud has formed already and the rain comes down. And tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and by the power of the Holy Spirit, somebody's rain of healing has come down in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord Holy Spirit. We give you all the gonna sing that seven more times my god we give you
Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. You are a power. You are Thank you once again for being in our midst tonight. We give you praise. We give you glory. Lift up your hands and just praise the Lord and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I may not be able to see what has happened in my life tonight, but I know, Lord, that you have done something. I know, Lord, that you are moving. And, Lord, I receive grace to remain aligned and in position, Lord, to receive the fullness and the manifestation and the fulfillment of your word concerning my health and in every other area of my life. I pray in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You all are blessed. I want to say thank you all for connecting to this live stream. It is by faith that God does what he wants to do in your life. And you've proven your faith by connecting. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God bless every single one of you. I want to pray for the givers and then uh, uh, draw in those who are not saved and just pray with you all. Don't go yet. Let's all pray together at the end of this live stream. But let me just pray for the givers very, very quickly uh, for, for, for all those who have given and sown tonight. If the Lord has led you to sow a seed tonight, may God bless you. May God prosper you. Sometimes when you receive a word from the Lord and you sow, it's a proof of a release of your faith and you're just giving thanks unto the Lord and the Lord honors that. So I want to just pray for you, child of God, in Jesus' mighty name, that Father God does exceedingly and abundantly in your life because you've given unto him. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, prosper you in Jesus' mighty name. I decree and declare that shall be pressed down, shaking together and running over in accordance to Luke 6.38. Let it be upon you in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord Christ said, it's more blessed to give than to receive. As you have received tonight, child of God, may you be blessed. And as you have given because of your receiving, may you be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. And God's was speaks about showers of blessings in Ezekiel 34, 26. May there be showers of blessings in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. May God bless you and every tighter in this place and every seed sower in this place. I pray for you that God's word in Malachi that speaks about him rebuking the devourer, rebuking the enemy in your life and bringing about an overflow of blessings. He said he opened the window of heaven and pour down the blessing that there will not be enough room to come to contain it. That is your portion in Jesus' mighty name. So God bless every giver in this place. And those who don't have to give, I pray that Father God will bless you with seed to sow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless every single one of you. If you're not born again, or you are born again, but want to rededicate your life back to Christ, let's pray together. Let's pray together, family. God loves every single one of his children so much. And the Lord wants to bless you. And the Lord wants, wants to release your healing quickly and, and bring the an opening of your health to spring forth in Jesus' mighty name so that you can be able to serve him more and serve him properly in the name of Christ Jesus. Let's pray together. Oh Lord my God, I come to you today. Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me. Lord Jesus, I believe that you were raised up on the third day. I receive your Holy Spirit into my spirit. I receive grace even right now to live a life 
that is worthy of your glory and your praise and honor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive your mercy, O oh Lord God. I receive forgiveness. In the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord, for turn around in my life. And I receive even more grace to remain aligned with your word and will for my life. I declare I am saved. I'm born again, I'm renewed, I'm released in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, child of God. May God continue to prosper you and shine his light and shine his face upon you and continue to favor every single one of you in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. Tomorrow in the morning, again, we intend to go live at about the same time, which was 1 p.m. W18 Lagos time. Um, so please endeavor to be there um if the spirit of god leads you to be there amen because i wasn't expecting many of you to come up this morning but the lord is so gracious and so good that he brought the ones that needed to hear the word and i thank god for that god bless you in jesus mighty name you and god church family we love you all and we'll see you all tomorrow by the special grace of god this is my year of renewal and release where all things are renewed i am made new and released into the promise if you did not say that with me why didn't you that's our theme for 2022 let's do that let's run that back one more time all together this is my year of renewal and release where all things are renewed i am made new and i am released into the promise in jesus mighty name amen and amen surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow you child of god all the days of your life and you will dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever and ever in jesus mighty name and let's all just say thank you jesus for network stability tonight hallelujah <laughs> praise the lord god bless your family and see you tomorrow shalom